Hello, welcome back to Play and See Gaming's part 6 on making money fast tips in Farming Simulator 2015. And again, I have been shopping. I bought myself one of these lovely tractors and a cedar. Now, I just want to make a point here. I'm going to go into the shop very quickly and I'm going to show you these sewing machines. Now, if you start at the beginning, obviously you've got the cheap ones down here. These are very good to start off with, but I strongly, strongly recommend saving your money £52,000, whatever currency you're using. There are other ones here, but this one I suggest is the best one to start off with. Only because, simply, you don't need to plough, cultivate the fields prior to using this one. See? No previous cultivating or ploughing necessary. It does it all for you guys. Save your money, don't buy your plough, don't buy the cultivator, get one of these instead. Bloody good investment. Now, I have just filled this up with seeds, and just be aware, you do go, oh, you can, sorry, select the seed type. I'll show you here. You can see up there, letter Y. If you look in the bottom right corner, it's changing the type of seeds that I want to plant. It doesn't matter what you fill up with, you just fill up the uh, thingy and then you can select the seeds. So, let's say if you're on corn and you actually want to plant grass, you don't need to select grass prior to filling it up. Now, I am going to drive over here. I want to buy this field. I'm just hoping I got enough money. I have no idea how much this field costs. I can't remember. Slam on the brakes. Let's jump out here. Alrighty. Purchase field. Ah, not bad. £51,700. Let's buy that. Okie dokie. Alright, jump back in. Now, I'm going to drive over to the top corner here. Now I'm going to set this up ready to go. I'm going to hire a worker to uh, plant grass seed. Yeah, you may be wondering why grass. There's grass bloody everywhere in this game. Simply because it's a square field and I want to uh, eventually on this video, if I get time, to uh, buy some cows and I want grass to turn into uh, straw. I think it's straw. To feed them. Right, unfold. How far to the edges this got me. Uh, let's see, I want to go, nope, want to go reverse that way. Let's get a straight line. Uh, I'm not too fussed, I think that should be fine. Alright, and hire worker. And he's going to go off. See, there we go. It's got the little rollers at the front, cultivators, and voila, instant grass. Now, obviously, this uh, needs time to grow. I do have the game speed on max speed, as you can see, top right corner, times 120. So, by the time I show you what else I'm doing in the background here, I'll come back and that probably the first line of grass will be grown by the time it gets to the bottom of the field. Right, I'm going to switch tractors. Not that one. Uh, okay, I have a bucket full of, um, not corn, wheat, I think it is, whatever I grew originally in that field with a combine. And somewhere here, I have another tractor. Where is he? Is this the one? Yep. Right, again, I've been shopping. I bought myself, as you can see, uh, another one of these with a tractor. This one I am planting wheat, I presume. I have no idea what these crop types are, but uh, this is the one I can cut down and again feed the cows. So I'm going to hire a worker and let him continue his uh, business. And he should uh, spin around and go back up the other way. Perfect. He's off. Alright, so what I'm going to show now is, let me jump back to my trailer. Here we go. Now, I should have probably uh, mentioned this a lot earlier on in the uh, tutorials. At the very start of the game, you have a silo somewhere just out of view. It's getting a little bit dark. Let's drive over there. It should take me a couple of seconds. Whoop, don't crash. God damn you. Uh, and I forgot there's a hill here. Go slowly down the hill. Uh, there we go. No, oh, oh, not good. Not good. Alright, now I do. Alright, um. Alright, let's drive over this side first of all and uh, 
dump this in the hole. So this is from the first or maybe second video, I think, I can't remember which one it was in, where we cut down the uh, already grown wheat with the combine. Unload that. It should be coming out the back. Let me zoom out. Alright, it's already finished, never mind. Right, and on the other side, get out of the way, tree. Let's spin this baby around. Let's turn some lights on, shall we? Right, there's a funnel sticking out. Right, so we can say start filling. I'm not sure. <coughs> yes, farm, wheat. So let's see what we got. We got barley, we got canola, we got corn. I think that's about it. So let's start wheat first. Start. That should be now tipping in there. Let me change my lights. There we go. Hopefully we've got a big enough tractor. Alright, that seems to be it. 70%. Uh, you can go and drive this now to uh, farm shops and dump it off in there and you get some money. So that's another way you can basically empty your solos, silos, solos, silos at the start of the game, get lots more money and uh, purchase uh, other equipment you may need. So I'm going to go and dump this one into the farm shop. I'll be right back. See you in a bit. Alrighty, welcome back. So I have just driven over to the windmill. Get out of the way, trees. There we go, windmill. I'll just show you quickly where there's the map. It's basically right on the east-hand side of the map here. Wrong. West. Jeez, can't even tell where I am. And I'm going to unload this into the windmill. Watch the money pile up. There we go. Nine thousand eight hundred and so oh no, wrong. Three thirty thousand six hundred and sixty seven pounds for that one. Alright, I'm now gonna pause the game, I'm gonna drive back to the silo and unload the next one. See you back there. Alrighty, welcome back. So I've been back to the silo. I filled the uh, trailer we have up with barley and I drove east, yes that is east this time, on the map to the grain elevator. That's where I'm currently located and I'm going to dump this in here. Uh, we can see how much we get. That money is piling up again. Now I have put the game speed back onto uh, times five. So I don't think we necessarily need it. Twenty-five thousand three hundred eighty pounds. We don't really need it on fast because uh, we've got plenty of money. We don't need to speed up the game. I can't see where I'm going. Right, I'm going to drive back again and fill it up with the other ones. I'll see you back there. Alrighty, welcome back. So I have just been back and I filled this up now with granola. I'm going to drive back into the uh, grain farm. In we come. Let's switch view so we can see where we go. And unload. There we go. So we can zoom out a bit here, see what we're doing. Alright, how much do we get for this one? Ha, <laughs> just short of 40 grand. Okay, so we basically got. Uh, idea of that one, empty your silos when you first start the game gives you a ton of money does help out a bit rather than having to uh, chop down them logs as well as explaining and do all the other bits and pieces it gives you a heck of a lot of money straight off the bat uh, I'm going to go back time to the silo again, I'll see you back there see you shortly alrighty, welcome back, I have just filled up with corn and I've driven northeast on the map to the transport company as you can see, we are on top of the uh, silo grate. I'm going to empty this on this. Now, this is only at 51%. And the other ones that uh, we just done weren't 100% full. So, we got, what, 40 grand nearly on the other one. And this one gives us £16,796 for 51%. Not a bad day's work. Okay, so I think that is all our silos uh, now emptied and 
maximum money we can get out of that. I'm going to go back and see how my uh, grass is getting on. I'll see you back there in two minutes. Alrighty, welcome back. So, I've driven back and yes, the silo is now empty. And these are my sewing machines, which are covered in mud. Now, I have just over one million pounds, so I'm going to invest in buying myself a power washer. Which I think, if I'm not mistaken, is in placeables. Yes, it is. Uh, how much does this cost? 4,000. Not a bad investment. I'm going to buy this out oh, and stop my uh, controllers going off to the screen here. Um, let's see if we can place it. We can't place item here. Hmm. Alright, we can put it there. Bingo. Alright, so we jump out of the tractor. It should be. Actually, I don't think that's quite going to reach. Let's do this one first. Drive over a little bit closer to it. It should be morning any minute, so it should be getting brighter. Alright, that'll do. Jump out. Somewhere around here. Where are you? There it is. Alright, walk up to here. R button to turn on power washer. Oh, makes a loud noise. Hope you can hear me. And turn on. Voila. Now you just gotta point and shoot, and eventually, if you just point at the wheels, the whole machine will become clean. You don't need to uh, do this sort of business. It's fun. It doesn't do anything in the game. You don't really need to wash this. It just. It'd be good if it didn't wash your vehicles with corrode or something like that. It just keeps it nice and shiny. We like shiny things. Alright, is the tractor dirty? Doesn't look like it. The wheels look spotless. Let's just give it a little bit of a flip over. I think that's about it. We don't need anything on there. Now, can I reach over to the other tractor? Let's give this a try. Ooh, no, oh, damn it. Let's see. Is it cleaning? Can't tell. Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh no, I think it is. I can see the wheels getting a little bit blacker there. Just keep pointing it in the same place. We might be able to... Oh, there we go, we can get a little bit closer now. Come on. I think that is actually clean. Tractor is a tiny bit dirty here. I think that's about it. Don't see any more mud on this. Right, let's see if we can uh, untangle ourselves. And turn off. There we go. Done. Right, let's go jump to our uh, seeding tractors. Not seeing our fields. Now, somewhere over there, we should have a cornfield. So, hence, I'm jumping in the combine. Um, I don't think I want the pipe out for this. I'm going to collect it in. It's only going to take probably two loads. We can line this up over here. Swing it out and around. Get a nice angle on it. Alrighty, that should do us about there. And hire worker. She goes. Perfect. Now we've got to come back here and keep an eye on this because. Uh, once it gets to 100% it's going to stop and wait for us to empty. Uh, you can see we have chaff coming out the back. I believe it's called chaff, it's correct me if I'm wrong. So let's go back to our baler. Yes, we can start falling on behind him. Unfortunately I can't hire a worker for this one. 
Uh, what I want to do is I want to get enough hay bales, buy myself probably a little loader to carry them on. I want to transport them down to the cow barn. And I want to do the same for the grass. Now the grass is a little bit more difficult for this. Uh, because I want to make hay bales out of it, I got to use the um, wind throw, I think it's called a sank. I don't know. No, wind throw is the one that combines it into a line. Anyway, whatever it is that flips the grass over to the other side to dry it out, I want one of them to dry it, and then I want a wind throw to put it into lines. And I need a baler to come along and pick it up, so I'm going to set this one off. Lower pickup, unfold baler. Turn on baler. If we can. Why is it not turning on? There we go. Right, I'm going to set my speed. Now, a lot of people may not know this. In the previous simula uh, farming simulator games, you have basically number one, number two, number three, I can't remember if it's number four, for your cruise control. In this new one, it doesn't quite work like that. You need to press number three. Turn on and off we go. Now you press and hold number two. You speed up. Press and hold number one. You slow down. So I am setting myself onto a straight line at least. Oh god damn it! I think we're uh, we're gonna stop. I think I just missed a load of that. I'm gonna spin around and start again. I can't steer with one hand. Yeah, we did miss a bit. Let's not miss any of this. Spin around. Alright, let's try this again. So, number three. Hold number one. Let's set the speed level down to like 15. If I can. Nope, oh, my speed is not decreasing. Why, oh, why, oh, why? It increases. There we go, now it's decreasing. Okay, cool. So I'm going to set it on, let's say, 12 miles an hour. Turn. And let's go up the other way. A bit of a wide circle there. Alrighty, that should do us. And I've got a nice steady speed to control this thing. We're not going to miss any. I do think we can actually go a lot faster than this. I know I've had it normally on 25, but it gets a little bit out of control because it slides around. Let's do we increase it to 20. I'm just tapping the number 2 here, not pressing and holding, just tap. Uh, there we go, 20 miles an hour. Perfect, that's a good speed. Otherwise we are definitely going to catch up behind the combine uh, far too fast. Spin around, back the other way. I'm just wondering if this combine's going to stop pretty soon. So it's going to be full up. Now I want to set this down a lot slower now. I believe the combine travels at around 6 miles an hour. So I'm going to set myself onto... Let's try 10. That seems to be actually a good speed. Yeah, it looks like the combine's doing about 10 miles an hour. Just follow on behind him. Now we're probably going to have to go out in a wide circle while he turns around and give us uh, plenty of room to manoeuvre ourselves. Actually we're going to halt. Wait for him to do his uh, little turn. You know what, I'm going to do this off of cam. I'm going to be right back once this hill is finished. See you soon. Alrighty, welcome back. So we've just finished off this field. We've got as uh, much hay bales as we possibly can. Uh, the combine is pretty much f nearly full. I'm just driving up here with my wagon to unload, unload the combine. Uh, I'm going to drop it into my silo. And I think I will then end the uh, video there. Let's unload this. Somewhere, here we go. It's squirting over the side, but it doesn't bother. The graphics uh, seem to do that anyway. It seems to fill up the trailer no matter what. Let's wait for this to empty down. A 
lovely sunset. There's my wind turbines. Come on, you can do it. How much more have we got to go? Ah, uh, we're having to take the good. Alright, let's drive down and dump this into the silo. Or shall I go and dump it into the... Uh now, I did see a pop-up a minute ago saying that the... Um Actually, I'm going to pause my time, so I did speed it up so we can get the last part of the field growing a lot quicker. So I did put it down onto real time, which I'm going to still do for now. I saw a pop-up a minute. There was a high demand for um, wheat, I think it was, over here. That little flashing orange trailer looking thing is on the map. So I'm going to head over here as fast as I can. How far are we going to drive? Forest freight yard right at the bottom of the map. Don't miss the road. Alright, we're going to drive down there. We're going to dump it in because it's high demand. I want to see how much money I get. Let's go for a little drive. Oh! <laughs> I, <laughs> I did have to take the trailer. Oh my god, that was fun. I didn't mean to do that. I was supposed to turn my lights on. Please, we didn't lose any. Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Right, I think. Is there a shortcut down here? <laughs> nope, that's going off down to some other little farm. We're going to stick with the road on this one. Let's have some flashing lights, just for the we can. Oh, power! Gotta go easy with this, because it does tend to oversteer. And you do slide around so easily with trailers on the back. Very, very, very easy to fishtail in this game. Right, I think we got to go off down this little track on the left here now. Remember rightly. Let's turn down in here. Yep. Whoop, yep, seat's sliding already. Take it easy. Right, now I think it's over there near that train. Way ourselves, anyway. Uh, can't read that. 16509, whatever that's supposed to mean. I think it's in kilos. We have a little train there waiting for us. Alrighty, unload. How much does that give us? 11,917. Now I'm going to jump out here. I'm going to go across over here. And I'm going to send this train on its way. Now it is best to uh, fill up the train as much as you can. Send off the train. Off she blows. It's going to disappear into the tunnel, and a couple of seconds after, we should get a little bonus. Every time you send the train off, it's only going to be a small bonus because uh, we didn't fill it up that much. It should take maybe a minute or two after it's disappeared. We can jump in our tractor for now. I'm listening in my ears for the cha ching. Keep an eye on the top right corner as well for uh, money to come in. Train has definitely gone into the tunnel. There we go, cha-ching, $9,800 dolls. 
Alrighty, that is the end of this part. I'll see you in the next part where we'll be cutting some grass and hopefully feeding some cows. See you soon. Bye-bye.